Our Prime Minister today, you know, people will try to describe him uh, by his, uh, his ideology. First of all, we have to understand is that Justin Trudeau is not a liberal. Uh, there used to be a common sense consensus among conservatives and liberals in this country, whether it was John Manley or Paul Martin or Jean Chrétien, Brian Mulroney, Stephen Harper, a common sense consensus that you needed to balance budgets, rely mostly on free markets for economic activity, free trade, live within your means, have the government focus on the, its core responsibilities, helping those who couldn't help themselves, build roads, bridges, hospitals, schools, etc. But that we should live within our means so that everyone else could could get ahead. This Prime Minister does not believe that. He is a radical departure from that common sense, liberal, conservative consensus that gave us 25 years of prosperity from 1984 to 2015. He is not a liberal. He is deeply illiberal. He believes in only two things. One, that the government should control everything, and two, that he should control the government. And he's only prepared to compromise on the first principle if the second principle is somewhere, in some way at risk. And that is what we have seen in his economic policies. Now, make no mistake, he is not anti-business. He's not against capitalism. There's a misunderstanding here. He is in favor of capitalism that is run by the government. If you want to make a profit, he has no problem with that, as long as you get it from a government favor whether it's a monstrous subsidy, some sort of regulatory protection. Let me give you an example. He's blocked three pipelines, but he's bought one, too. The, what's the commonality there? Well, he's okay with a pipeline as long as it's controlled by the state. He's raised taxes on businesses, but that doesn't make him anti-business because he's giving tens of billions of dollars of corporate subsidies to other businesses. This is the philosophy of the state controlling everything. Now, here's the problem with state capitalism versus free enterprise capitalism. In state capitalism, you get ahead by having the best lobbyist. In free enterprise capitalism, you get ahead by having the best product. In state capitalism, you make profit by pleasing politicians. In free enterprise capitalism, you get ahead by pleasing customers. You know, you know our friends, uh, on the other side of this debate, often say they have a lot of empathy. But what is empathy? It's seeing through someone else's eyes. In the free enterprise system, a business must be empathetic. It must see what its customers wants. want. If you want to sell what John Smith buys, you have to see through John Smith's eyes. In a, in a capitalist, a free enterprise system, businesses have to fight tooth and nail to please customers and to attract the best workers. But in a state-controlled system, what they have to do is please the decision makers in power. And they have. And so many of them have done quite well by concentrating wealth in fewer and fewer hands of the politically influential. We've often heard criticisms that Mr. Trudeau likes to redistribute wealth. And he does. But he has not redistributed it to the poor. He's concentrated it, actually. The working people of this country have never been worse off. And those with political influence have never been better off. And so uh, what are the consequences of this? Today, after eight years of Trudeau, we have a smaller economy than we did on a per capita basis than we did five years ago. I don't know if at any time, Bill, in, since the 1930s that that has actually happened. We've now had five consecutive quarters of the GDP per capita shrinking in this country. And this is the necessary consequence of a policy that has the government controlling all the levers of the economy rather than allowing the free enterprise system and the voluntary exchange of work for wages, product for payment, and investment for interest to prevail. But the good news is that life wasn't like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. We're going to replace the hurt that he has caused with the hope that Canadians need. And we're going to do it based on the common sense Canadian consensus that made this the best country anywhere on earth and will once again do the same for generations to come. Thank you.